scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Withholding nothing, I
Just, this is not just for fun hallelujah I didn't even rehearse with them to know what it is that I want to share this night hallelujah so inside and outside I want us to take a moment of deep worship can you take it higher we're going to sing this song and that song I give myself away I want you to flow and worship I want us to lose ourselves in this place because there are many things that we need to let go to many things your troubles your sorrows thoughts of marriage increased success just let it go tonight as we worship forget about every load you brought tonight lord we surrender nothing Every worry we lay down in the name of Jesus. Worry about tomorrow. Worry about the future. Worry about marriage. Worry about prosperity. Worry about houses and cars. We lose everything tonight. All our qualifications, all the accolades that are behind our names and our personalities. So that you will use us. Come on, sing it. Ba ba 
Rabaka Pretenda Baba Baba. Oh, we give ourselves. We give of ourselves, so God. Take everything tonight. Come on, pray. Say, Lord, take everything. I didn't realize when I allowed all kinds of worries to come upon me. I didn't realize when I allowed my success to take over my passion for you. I didn't realize when I allowed my problems. I'm not denying the fact that the problems are much. Pray and say, Lord, I release it. Make a pradi balada da bo soto prende de mana balada. Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray. Say, Lord, I release everything. I release the pain. I release the disappointment. It didn't work out as I planned, but you are still God. It didn't work out the way I expected it. I thought the admission would have come, but you are still God. The marriage didn't come as at when I expected it. The business didn't work out, but you are still God. My ministry did not experience the increase, but you are still God. Come on, break open in his presence. Tell him, Lord, take this pain. Release your everything in his presence. Inside and outside, make sure you participate. The Bible says, laying aside every weight. There are all kinds of weights in this place tonight. Challenges in our families, your personal progress in life, your academics, your spiritual life. Come on, just pray it away. Pray it away. As you pray in tongues, let it go. There's no money in your pocket, but there is something at work in your spirit. There's no money in your bank account, but you are still more than a conqueror. Something bad happened to you, but his horn is still exalted in your life. Job said, Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, All the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. Till my change comes. The wife said, Do you still hold your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? And he said, Why do you speak like these stupid women? Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. I choose to praise you. I choose to worship. It's a decision. There's no reason. I may not give any reason for it. But I choose to worship. We worship you. Let all the earth worship him. 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 His presence is mighty in this place. Just worship him. He's your maker. Many of you may not understand what is going on in this place. This is called Koinonia. It's an intimacy. 
The more I know you, the more I want to know you, the more I see your face, the more I want to see it again, the more I hear your voice, the more I want to hear it again. The more I hear your word, the more I want to hear it again. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Come on, sing Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more. Express your love to your maker. We're almost losing the art of worship in the body of Christ. We've done well with prayer. This is the secret. The protocol of his presence. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lord. Sing, I'll serve you, Lord. I'll serve you forever. about my many struggles but by your spirit and your grace I'm confident you'll solve them but I'm here to say I love you I'm here to say I adore you that's why I'm here tonight. To say, I love to love you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, I love you, Lord. Come on, sing it. It's from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Sing, I love you. From 
Worship Koinonia in your life. Who is there? I'm telling you, I feel the presence of Jesus in this place. Oh Lord, I know when His presence shows up. It's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship. Come on, we lift our hands. We lift our hands to the great. Compare with you. Who can compare? One more time, I lift my hands. I lift my hands to the great I am who was and who is and is to come. I lift my hands to the great. description you're too marvelous for words you're too wonderful for comprehension I'm worshiping him like nothing ever seen or heard the presence of Jesus is in this place who can grasp your infinite wisdom 
who can fathom the depths of your love you are beautiful beyond description majesty and throne on high come on sing I stand I stand in awe of you I stand I stand in awe of you Lord I stand I stand in awe of you Holy God to whom all praise is due I stand Hallelujah. Make my life, let it be the temple of your spirit. And let my spirit fill the world of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation. Sing it from your heart. Where your spirit is pleased to dwell Oh Lord, I want to know I want to offer a sacrifice of praise worship you and we adore you tonight I know that you are walking in the midst of your people Jesus is in this place not the Holy Spirit not angels I know when his presence is in a building Jesus we thank you we pray make your presence known Father, make your presence known. Lord Jesus, make your presence known in our hearts. This is what I pray tonight. I pray, make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known in our hearts. We thank you for your presence. You have come to reveal yourself to us. And we embrace that presence. Walk among us tonight. Walk among us tonight. Plant a fire in our hearts. We 
choose to honor you with our lives with our hearts and everything that we have we're not in a hurry Lord we bless you for your mighty mighty presence I'm telling you the presence of Jesus is in this place I know he's in this place the spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say come let your will be done tonight let us see your face to see your face once again to hear your voice once again to see your face once again once again in the glory I will stand I will stand and lift my hands in the glory I will receive every miracle you have for me it's in the glory We accept the heal of the Lord. Forget about your weakness of your body. 
Zakata Pretas Kalabash is the protocol for an encounter. Is the protocol for an encounter. We are tapping into the laws of the spirit that will open us into the vistas of his presence. Edify yourself in the spirit. Activate your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. Is the law of the secret place. Is the law of the secret place. When you seek him, you will find him. Outside, participate. The Spirit of God is mighty outside. Charge your spirit, man. Activate your capacity to comprehend spiritual things. Let him arise above your needs, above your accolades. of your presence. Expose yourself to that atmosphere, that Shekinah, the glory that changes, the glory that transforms in the glory where seed time and harvest coexist together. His name is Jesus Christ. He died and rose and gave me victory. I have been. Come on, sing. We're just going to press a little further. We are sons. We're not serving an idol. Is there? Is Jesus? Miracles are already taking place as we're worshiping. He died and he rose. be the name of the Lord. Father, tonight we desire an encounter. Open us up to portals, realms, vistas in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, open us up to these deep dimensions. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling 
Savior, Savior, what they are sing and sing all of the ground is sing and sing on Christ the solid rock all of the Father, tonight, reveal yourself to us. Show us something about you that we have never seen. Put a fire in our spirit. Let there be a displacing of everything that has taken your place in our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just sit as quiet as you can. No distraction. Let's keep this atmosphere as solemn as it is. Jesus is in this place. I want to share with you a few things tonight that I believe will change our lives remarkably. Tonight is a night of encounter. I'm not here to preach tonight. Tonight is a night of encounter. There must come a point in your life where you will encounter God, not just to be taught about Him. Just sit as quiet as you can and let's let the Holy Spirit pick us in this atmosphere. There is a flight in the Spirit. Psalm 63 I want to share with you a very powerful mystery tonight is a night of encounter the Lord told me this tonight is a night of encounter many of you tonight will be caught up into heavenly experiences i told you tonight is an encounter many of you will see things you have never seen before many of you will hear sounds that you have not heard before help us tonight psalm 63 psalm 63 Psalm 63 O hmm. oh God Thou art my God Early will I seek Thee My soul thirsted for Thee My flesh longed for Thee In a dry and thirsty land Where there is no water Verse 2, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight from the depths of my heart. I'm not really preaching tonight. I want everybody to listen. 
Aleluya. Lord God Almighty, you know that song. Holy, holy Lord, Lord God Almighty, there's only one word. There's only one word to describe And only one word comes to me. When you truly stand before His presence Only one word to describe That's the word. Holy Lord, Lord God Almighty. Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story about my life. I have been very, very concerned about the way people are being built in the body of Christ. And every time I say this, people misinterpret it for pride or arrogance. But the way God trained me is not the way many people have been trained in the body of Christ and I know that something is wrong hallelujah there is a lot of jumping of processes in the progressions of the spirit there is a lot of seeming principles of shortcuts to access authentic power and the presence of God to an extent that there are many people who claim that they are having spiritual encounters but there's nothing about their life so many people lie to us that they see angels and there is nothing there is no reaction in their lives many people tell us they see beings in the spirit let me tell you something if you see anything that is outside this realm something must happen to you hallelujah I want to share with you something very powerful I want to share with you how I began my journey in the spirit and how the Holy Ghost led me and you will see the reason why many people may never find God in terms of encounter there are many preachers lying to people many preachers deceiving people just because of they are not fake they are just not telling the truth hallelujah it doesn't take an encounter to speak English. Utterance is not the same as oratory. You can get oratory by good education. You know what utterance is? Utterance is the bridge between your encounter and the people you want to communicate it to. The encounter is so deep, you do not have the frame, the framework of the lingua franca to help them see the other side of what you are saying and so paul prayed and said I've, I've, there is something in my spirit but how to make you see it pray for me that god will grant me an ability that is not human an ability to make you enter my experience as i speak to you this is what is called utterance there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ and now I know I'm not old enough and experienced enough to challenge many things yet. Let me tell you something. I do not boast of knowing all the principles of church growth, principles of prosperity, principles of increase, principles of training and mentorship and building people. But there is one thing I know. I know the protocol of an encounter. This one, a man did not teach me. 
Paul said, I know a man 14 years ago in Arabia. Whether he was in the body or in the spirit, I do not know. But he said that he saw things that were not permitted for men to utter. There were things that John saw and he said, seal this. Don't bring this. The people do not have the capacity to take this depth of encounter. Seal it. It's for an appointed time. There is a lot, a lot of theory. And, and these theories are not wrong. But let me tell you, when a man meets God, when you hear him, there is an anointing that brings you into his experience. Hallelujah. That's what happened. Prophet Samuel was a man who had encountered God. Saul came into that atmosphere. When he entered, an anointing compelled him into the prophetic. All of a sudden, he began to prophesy. Accurately, the Bible says he prophesied naked from morning till night. And men looked and said, it's Saul. Or, it wasn't because Saul was anointed. There was an atmosphere that pulled him into that experience. The presence of this man called Samuel. Hallelujah. One time they came to capture the armies. I mean they came to capture the prophet of God. Elijah. And when they came the Philistines I believe. They, 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 they gathered around. And he prayed. And the servant was perplexed. Because see he was sitting in another realm. His confidence was not of this realm. And the servant was shaky. And he said oh Lord. Would you not bring this man into my experience? Let him see what gives me this audacity. Let him see what informs my confidence. All of a sudden, his eyes were open and he saw that them were greater than what they are. See, you will never understand a man's passion until you know what drives him, until you see what he has seen, until you hear what he has heard. And the Bible says Moses was at the backside tending his father-in-law's sheep and he saw a bush the bible didn't say many people saw only one man moses and when he went there he had an encounter hallelujah there are so many people looking for power and and that's not wrong there are so many people looking for power they want the power to heal the sick they want the power to do this and that and that because according to their church growth seminar they were told that if you have power and you have results men will come to your church or to your assembly whatever it is let me tell you the truth i'm about to correct some things and set a right very very wrong when i began my pursuit for god listen to me I had no ambition to be a preacher whatsoever hallelujah if anybody would have told me that today I'll be standing taking the message of the kingdom I would never believe it hallelujah there are people already who sit down is part of their ambition they think it's a profession they are so desperate to start ministry they are so desperate to gather members they've not done anything they have the name of the ministry already they have the name of where the church will be i'm not saying what god gave them they sat down and pushed they have the name of everything their cathedral the kind of bosses that will come nonsense and they do not know the person that they are going to represent can i tell you something almost everybody god called was on his way running away from god's presence if you really know what ministry hallelujah this is the reason why many people do not experience the presence of god and every time they find a man who has followed the protocol of an encounter they begin to bring all sorts of criticisms because certain possibilities do not exist in their life and they do not know that there is a price it's more than bible college it's more than theological seminary it's more than longevity around the church building hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying i began to seek god with so much passion listen i remember i will never forget 
2nd of December 2002 I was sleeping in the night and a man walked into my room sleeping and all of a sudden I felt it not in a vision I was not in any vision I was a, I was I was conscious of myself and he tapped me I felt the tap of a man and I was alone I was shocked I was afraid all of a sudden I turned I didn't see any man but it left an experience it was as if it was like a force at once I knew things I did not learn I started crying until morning I felt I felt filthy I felt unclean practically unclean it wasn't because I was fornicating or doing any bad thing a presence a realm was introduced to my life that rattled my theology rattled everything that I had known for days I was crying I could not even eat let me tell you the truth I was sobbing and crying I was not in control of the tears I didn't understand the presence of God do you know because of that the passion that was in my spirit I got a notebook I still have the notebook I wrote a letter to all my friends my extended family in the village that was all I knew it was a letter on rapture that Jesus was coming and everyone needed to pay attention that was all that I knew there was such a passion for souls not ministry not power not healing not deliverance not prosperity not money not influence souls the heartbeat of the father god hides himself in light he will give you a glimpse and hide himself so that you will look for him hallelujah i i always waited for the night time where everybody would go and sleep and then i would wake up and these encounters i kept writing letters i carried a bulk of my clothes i told my mother to give me a bulk of her clothes and a number of people i called my brother who was then studying in shika came home and we prayed on the clothes i drove down to an orphanage home i went to visit those orphans and do a lot of things i wasn't in ministry the bible says the spirit moved jesus drove him i didn't even know what the name of that experience was all i knew was that it was an encounter no one could deny hallelujah people would come around me and just sit quietly and within minutes they are sober and they are telling me the problems of their lives i wasn't a preacher i would study the word chapter after chapter i couldn't understand anything at that time i was having very serious eye problem i couldn't even look at light for a long time and i said if my eyes will come out let it come out passion i would cry and tell the lord reveal yourself to me who is this stranger that walked into my room didn't show me his face didn't know anything about the holy spirit hallelujah years before that time we had had encounter the baptism of the holy spirit and as very very small boys we did wonderful things we were not even conscious that the things that were happening were miracles it was dramatic js2 js2 I was made the timekeeper of the whole school because there was something exceptional about my life js2 every day pastor quarter to five somebody wakes me quarter to five without failing somebody will wake me i rang the bell five o'clock on the dot i want you to know that this the quality of christians that men of God are marketing and advertising will not stand the test of time. They lack the impetus to endure. Hallelujah. 
and after that encounter i began to pursue god i i had no business with ministry in fact let me tell you something pastor the first crusade that we had there was no name of ministry we had to come together and Jimmy told me what would be the name of this ministry now i said i don't know god didn't give me any name let's find something i can't even remember the name we use trinity something one kind of name like that just to be able to explain to pfn we are coming for a crusade and now i see a lot of people all around moving with bodyguards and moving with people claiming that they are doing ministry and they mentored the life of very wrong men of god who are out of the program of god don't use cars and suits and english and crowd to gauge that a man is close to the presence of god you will be greatly deceived motivational speakers park stadiums are they anointed but they park stadiums with people paying thousands of dollars to hear them speak it doesn't take too much to gather people hallelujah is someone hearing me tonight and i began this encounter let me tell you something i would pray for days i wasn't looking for ministry show me your face show me your glory oh god that's all i want a time came it was it was a matter of life and death i remember i would go to life way life way and then i had i had do you know i will be in the restaurant in community market immediately i finish eating there's one anywhere i hear them playing a tape there were christian bookstores around i'll just go and sit down there i knew almost all of them i was hungry i spent my money on books books on purpose i will never forget writing an article about myself if i were dead that's what i wrote that was the article I wrote how people may come for my funeral come for this and that and that i did crazy things hallelujah at the back of Ramat, you know that bush there they started developing it now it was at the back of Ramat. that's where i would go and shout like a madman in the night saying lord will you reveal yourself or kill me don't criticize a man till you know the passion and the story behind the glory God never gave me any assurance that I'll be standing and listening to people but he gave me one assurance he said early will I seek you I will show you some scriptures tonight hallelujah I'll never forget dramatic encounters I was staying in Danfodio and I remember what used to happen people will come to my room when they come to it was myself steve strings and andy ambassador who were roommates room 155 oak block people used to come in the morning in the morning i was a strange person i could be lying down and the next thing the moment i see an angel steve strings or somebody the moment he may just be playing the guitar and something happened the power of god is breaking out people outside the room are falling under the anointing it was a strange life i would climb on top of vet medicine there was one empty place at the very top in the night when people are sleeping i would sit there i had a chair and i would sit there and cry in the night and say will you not reveal yourself to me oh god Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Hallelujah. When I was staying in area BZ, I used to seek the Lord. I was staying alone. Well, with a roommate, but mostly alone. And this is where the encounters of my life took another dimension I was broke sometimes I would not have money but there was a guava tree in front of the house I would go and plug the guava there and eat it and take water 
and say lord i give you praise and i would lock up myself praying and then at a point listen to me certain things started happening in my life i would be praying i didn't even know it was called the cloud of his presence i stand before god and i tell you the truth i lie not a literal mist you know how vapor is that's how it will enter the room and i was being careful so that i wouldn't dabble into any demonic thing i had to search the scripture and i saw when the cloud of god's glory entered the temple and the priest could not even minister again it's in your bible hallelujah i'll never forget praying for somebody who had chicken pox god is my witness it was in less than three hours or so the person came back and almost 90 percent of what he had had disappeared and there was nobody to clap for me i didn't even know it was a spectacular miracle you know the problem with a lot of people there are too many people to clap for you when you have not done anything so it makes us believe we gather around a lot of people who are not passionate about god i was seeking the face of god with all my heart then there used to be lots of fellowships on campus to do a lot of things i would just go behind sunday school building and sit down there and i used the worship that was being played by several campus fellowships for my spiritual look let me tell you something this is the reason why you may talk about somebody and god will judge you at once because he has a track record of sacrifice there is there is it's like blood on the altar that speaks hallelujah when reinhard bonke was coming for crusade i remember that time i went i've shared with you the story six hours i was standing no seat a pregnant woman was standing close to me small time the woman would lean on me i said madam I understand you are pregnant but this 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 whole thing i'm we're all tired here but i was determined my life is a testimony of dramatic encounters i started having all of these encounters and i'll never forget listen one night the longing of my soul was satisfied when jesus christ appeared to me i have seen him it's not because i read it in scripture this is why i can tell you with authority that many people who claim they have seen jesus did not see jesus there is nothing that left there was no deposit in their life if you see jesus even if it's for one minute something will enter your life that you will run with for a lifetime this is the jesus i saw when saul on his way to damascus met this jesus what happened to him a hardened criminal at once he broke down he called him lord saul was fasting for three days and three nights he was blind the presence of god made a man blind physically and there are people who claim they see jesus every day fornicating around seeing jesus stealing around seeing jesus doing all kinds of things they say they are seeing jesus that's not the jesus i saw that's not the jesus i saw for when you see him when zechariah saw just an angel an angel he made zechariah dumb an angel hallelujah when i saw jesus i was flat on the ground goodness i'm telling you i looked like a speck of dust in this majestic i could not believe that this was the man preachers were trying to represent when you meet jesus it will change your life it will overhaul your priority about ministry it will no longer be an issue of denomination or an issue of sect an issue of i was this i was that when you meet jesus it will rattle your your whole theology to its foundation i felt as if i was a dead man i could not even see his face let me tell you the truth 
it was the brightness the i i i don't know how to begin to explain it to you and he stood there his robe was white it was not like physical clothes that you can see like this it was like clothes but it was like the clothes was attached to the person's body so it's not like something you remove and put back it's not our concept of clothes no hallelujah and light brothers and sisters light was emanating from him the christ and all he did to me was to stretch his hands towards me and he stretched that giant hand imagine like stretching an, an aircraft over a fly that was how it was and light light that i cannot explain that light came upon me i don't know how god did it that he did not kill me when i got up from that vision there was a fire in my bones that i will live and die for I've been captured by a love I can't explain. Now you have me, and I'm forever changed. I've abandoned everything I've ever known, and I surrender. This life is not my own. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. Nobody coerced me. I surrendered my heart. This one is different from coming to do this funny born again thing that people do in church. People just march and come out. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, and he's pinching his neighbor. I surrender all. I surrender all. Immediately he finishes the, the boyfriend or whoever is waiting for the person. And then they ask him, Are you born again? And the brother or the sister, they mean to say, Have you ever come out? They say, Yes, now i've even been baptized come on now let me tell you there are many people who think they are saved and god does not know them i know some of you will be angry for this statement i'm making christianity with no transformation impossible except it's not the, the christ that died for our sins hallelujah this was the vision that opened me up into ministry i had been seeing a lot of encounters listen somebody was pursuing me and i went and i stood somewhere in a room all of a sudden i was moved to look through the window when i looked through that window i saw an endless sea of people it was it was as far as my eyes could see and they were talking they were lamenting it was a crowd of people hallelujah after seasons of trainings and buildings and their sound started zooming to my ears and then eventually it looked like they zoomed those who were in front and i had them it was a it was a sound of languishing and pain it was not a sound of celebration the people were crying and languishing in pain and this was what they said they looked at me and they said there is no food and no water all of a sudden in the vision it became like i had the keys to the storehouse of that entire crowd of people i was holding the keys and i told them i asked them i said who is the cause why you do not have food and water and they said you are the one and i said oh my god i was moved with compassion i started crying and i told them i'm coming right away to help you but there were people who had chased me and i was afraid of them but i took the step to open the door when i opened the door there was a gigantic man waiting for me and he was in the similitude of the holy spirit he now held my hands and he said let's walk together i will walk with you in this journey are you getting the point then he began to walk with me we were to jump from building to building 
just like structures like you have the student's hostel at the top from one end to the other and he jumped to the other side and he sat down there was a small ladder that connected the buildings and i was trying to walk slowly and he was looking at me and laughing and that was how i woke up all of a sudden my life changed i would be in a meeting and would hold hands together just to share the grace quietly seated here and people in rows who fall under the anointing and i could not understand i would stay in the secret place praying and building people would come to look for me the way they will know i'm around is that a great distance before they arrive people will not be able to cross that circumference what is your experience like you who has already called yourself pastor what is your experience what message do you have to give your generation that's why we do a lot of copying and pasting a lot of copy and and all kinds of things we preach messages without power without transformation because they do not come from a depth of truth you're beautiful you're beautiful every time you see me worship him every time you see me do the things that i do let me tell you something whenever there is any seed of pride in me it doesn't take a long time for god to copy there are too many encounters in my life all it takes is for god to refresh any of them any of them breaks me down many of you do not have encounters that's why a man of god will keep moving he's falling but he cannot see there's no encounter to remind him of where he was coming from and you can begin to sleep around with members of the church enjoy prosperity when jeeps start coming and cars start coming whether you pray or not you preach well let me tell you the truth the army that god is raising is an army that understand the one they are representing they know him they've had an encounter with him that's the only condition to be able to die for him it's impossible to die for a man you do not know it's impossible to die for a man you cannot you cannot relate with angels bow before him is beautiful there have been so many encounters in my life one time i was in a vision and there was it was outside all the doors were closed all the shops were closed it was like a community and i saw people sitting down sick people all around and i was looking at them and i said where are the doctors where is the hospital these people are dying what is all this i was shouting speaking to the air the people were so weak and helpless they could not even talk to me and then i had a voice that spoke to me from heaven he said go and heal them go and deliver them hallelujah one time when i was praying i was worshiping for a season i began to sense an unusual activity of the presence of god in my life i would worship and pray and build myself listen i want to give you a very big key to my life and that night it was a very deep encounter with god hallelujah and while i was in that place of encounter listen the lord spoke to me and he said from today i give you my presence as a gift this is what god told me hallelujah from that day god opened my eyes and i saw a huge angel i had never seen him and i said lord what is the name of this angel and the lord told me his name is called the angel of the lord's presence he said this is the angel that will walk with you the angel of the lord's presence hallelujah this is the reason behind some of these mighty manifestations that you see that a lot of people do not understand i have suffered for this anointing i've been criticized for this anointing people have called me all kinds of names my mother is alive she came here you have seen her my father is alive i grew up in the midst of people I didn't come out from a wilderness my life has been an open book from birth to death 
the Bible says oh Lord my God early will I seek you my soul thirst for you it says to see your power and your glory this is the passion that is the missing ingredient every time I go for meetings after the meetings you see lots of people coming to kneel down oh man of God lay hands because we have emphasized impartations above encounters so people believe you can take a man's spiritual journey with one laying on of hands do you know that all the people that the apostles laid hands on and the patriarchs of old they had they they went through the wilderness together they saw certain things together the laying on of hands did not rob them of true spiritual experience hallelujah I remember my first encounter with a demon real physical demon listen let me share with you I'm sharing with you I'll put a few scriptures and we'll pray because tonight tonight God is going to give some people real encounters hallelujah it was in chapel one night I finished praying listen true story God is my witness none of these things I'm telling you are stage managed and the generator then they just made that generator there and I was just going to turn to the edge of it listen I saw a real physical demon I saw it with my eyes and he just shouted and told me get back that's what he told me before he finished saying get back I was already praying in tongues it was not premeditated and it just went vanished like that from that time authority came upon my life to cast out every kind of demon and devil anywhere brothers and sisters the ancient knew the value of encounters this is what we do not know especially preachers in our generation everybody just believes I have an occupation okay you studied mass communication or French and you don't know what else to do with your life you just say I sense the, the call of God upon my life now after NYSC what will I do say, oh, yeah, try ministry now I say talk you were a very good Bible study teacher you say truly I was they even gave me price you just go and dapple into the vineyard believing that you are going to be effective you think so go and ask the devil how herbalists are trained go and ask the devil how false prophets are trained go and ask the devil how witches and wizards are trained you think it's an ambition it's a fraternity it's a sacrifice with their life they sell their soul to satan those ones have collected the mark of the beast already hallelujah that's why you can stand and tell the sick be healed and nothing happens there is no experience demons are not idiots they have followed the track record listen something happened there was somebody when we started koinonia he was coming he was in the occult i'm sure one i can't remember his name now one young guy he was in the occult they used to come and sit when people started sitting outside quietly they had seen me this gentleman was sent it's just that we don't we don't share one tenth of the testimonies that happened it will amaze you do you know what this guy told me i went on a retreat i remember one time i went on a retreat the lord asked me to go on a retreat 72 hours my eyes did not see light whether it was day or night i didn't even know what time it was at all whether it was three o'clock i kept everything 72 hours dry i'm not talking about this kind of fast that you take granite in the afternoon later in the evening you are you can't even wait quarter to six you're already peeling the orange the the type your heart panting after god not looking for power hallelujah do you know after i pray and i finish that experience the day they brought the gentleman to me and i was about to pray this is not an issue of being oppressed that you are casting out the devil this is somebody that is in occult aware he knows 
you know what he told me he said sir we have been watching you and he said while you were praying he mentioned the place he said for 72 hours in the realm of the spirit their eyes were open and they were watching hallelujah and he was telling me how that they strike a lot of men of god it's like a spiritual meter that's why a man can be backsliding and nothing is happening is the deceit of the devil to make you feel things are moving all right your prayer life has died nothing wrong is happening you are not even studying nothing else is it's like a meter it will keep going down 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 you will not observe it it will just keep going down one day the devil will hit you once this is the reason why you will see a great man people don't just fall like that brothers and sisters are you getting what i'm saying samson slept with a harlot true or false without prayer he went and removed the gate of the city that god is showing you mercy over your life does not mean he's endorsing your state he's challenging you to rise higher this is the message you will not find in church everybody tells people things are all right jesus has died wonderful you are now born again do everything just book in the name of jesus give him all the praise shout do everything you want to do and there's all kinds of madness and hell is raging war believers are not sensitive hallelujah one of the greatest assets i have in my life is not revelation it's not understanding it's my love for god and it's like a cancer and i trust god to infect you with it tonight a love for god that nothing can take not power not anointing not influence people call me all kinds of names i don't care what you call me apostle daddy mommy uncle call whatever you want to call me that's that's your i thank god for the honor but there is something that i've seen that nothing in time can take it away hallelujah let me show you two scriptures i saw this scripture in 2005 and it changed my life forever john 14 21 zila kaprash timbre azakata balashina mahosi barai mighty god john 14 21 let's read one to read please can we have it from amplified do you have amplified let's have it from amplified the person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me and what's his reward for loving me it says and whoever really loves me will be loved by my father are you seeing it now i want to show you the protocol of our encounter and i too will love him and will show reveal manifest myself to him i will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him is that in your bible there is a protocol god does not just reveal himself to people because they are crying or because they are praying many people want to encounter god everybody cry even in churches we hold all kinds of three days one week revival you see the poster revival exclamation mark revival two exclamation mark and then another revival three exclamation mark revival 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 and you see the people who are coming for the revival strolling around and coming to sit and the man of god who is now supposed to bring the revival who needs revival himself will now come with his his, his prepared manual and talk all kinds of stories and people just know they say mm, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they now say it's time to pray and everybody just finds a little corner and is just sleeping and snoring at the end of the program they say they've held this year's revival you know what a revival is a revival is an awakening that keeps a city and the community stands still we don't read a lot of history we don't read a lot of where we are coming from the world's revival 
was so powerful that men will carry the newspaper as soon as they start reading the newspaper revival will start in their house what is our concept of revival the average young person in this generation cannot define what a revival is we have not seen it what is our concept of christianity what do we really want to achieve ask the average believer why do you go to church it tells you to go and worship what is that it's just because we grew up knowing that you are a christian and it's good for you to go to church second corinthians or first corinthians lord we bless you the lord is redefining someone's christianity tonight removing the things that are unnecessary verse 9 first corinthians 2 verse 9 but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for who them that love him not them that pray to him not them that want to serve him them that love god let me tell you this is the missing ingredient in the body of christ it's not rema we have enough revelation there are powerful men and women of god i attest to it in nigeria in africa in the world there are people who have explored the portals of revelation back to back what we lack is love and when i say love i don't just mean love by giving i mean passion and priority god has very little priority in our generation let me tell you the truth very little priority very little there are few parents the average parent in nigeria they believe in god but god is not a priority hallelujah ask the average young man what his pursuit is either to go to school or to go and serve or to get a wife or to get some kinds of things imagine imagine this is the whole circumference of our christian pursuit ask a man of god what are you seeking he tells you by the grace of god we should grow to ten thousand and fifteen thousand and then have our own auditorium have our own buses start making our own calendar then go on air is this our circumference of the pursuit of god I love him with my life he's my priority i'm obsessed about him and that has nothing to do with ministry it's my default state when i sing he knows i'm not pretending it i love him more than miracles let him take all the anointing from my life let him take the mean if god asks me pastor and tells me close koinonia close up here and i pack up everything i promise you to god who has created me this would be the last service that's the end of it everybody will feel bad everybody will complain and say why some serious people even say let's let's resurrect it you can go ahead and face god alone but i'll be so happy and i'll tell him lord what next if god tells me go and join a church or a ministry and be an usher i will do that gladly from the depths of my heart I, not minding anybody's recognition i don't want no recognition from anybody when you see god commit spiritual power to a man ask questions ask questions god is not stupid that's why a lot of people come oh god give me power i want to speak somebody sent me a text he said i cannot imagine how you speak and people fall i want it to i said go and ask god the guy felt disappointed go and ask god i'm not a herbalist i don't manufacture miracles in little dots of 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 oil and, and communion and all of that no we want to jump the process 
of genuine encounter and intimacy yet we want power that's why i question a lot of what we call power in the body of christ a man who has so much power without encounter is questionable but right now everybody is chasing power power prophetic power apostolic power miraculous power people keep hopping around i've given warning nobody should come and stand in front of my house waiting for any impartation i'm not a herbalist you can come for counseling you can come for koinania god will bless you listen i believe in the laying on of hands we lay hands and we do impartation for all the people but we must lead you into a of desperation and encounter with the spirit say amen two more scriptures let me tell you how you know that god is not a priority if you attempt to live without him it's a sign that you do not need him in your life whatever you can live without is not a priority to you are you getting my point whatever you can live without is not a priority Air is a priority you cannot live without it food is a priority you cannot live without it if you can live without God don't tell me he's a priority to you there are many of us outside inside you are looking at me right now you know between you and God that God is not a priority in your life you may even be in ministry you may be doing very well but is God a I'm not asking you whether you are born again or not. I know you are born again. I'm talking of a priority. That if you are to delete many things in your life, God will still remain. Hallelujah. There is a law in the spirit. Jeremiah 29. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. 11 to 13. We'll read it quickly. Because I want us to pray. The Lord wants to plant a fire in our hearts tonight and reorder our spiritual pursuit aright that beyond revelation we will love him for I know the thoughts that I think towards you we know this scripture so well thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end next verse then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you here's the condition verse 13 this is a law in the spirit never forget it for as long as you live read it everybody want to read and find me when ye search for me with all your heart this is the law for finding god in the spirit you will never never have an encounter with god until your all seeks him if you just seek him with part of you if you seek him with an ulterior motive you will if you seek him because of business or marriage or money like many of us are seeking god god will give you the car god will give you the marriage god will give you all of these things we seek different things that god has we seek his hands we seek all kinds of things here is the law write it if anybody ever asks you what is the protocol for an encounter this is it you will seek me look at me let me tell you what it means to seek God to seek God is not to pray this is what a lot of people have been taught as seeking God prayer is not necessarily seeking God to seek God is not even worship because that's what many of us still believe to seek God is not to fast. To seek God is to cultivate a desire that seeks to make Him the priority of your life at any cost. That has nothing to do with prayer. It is when that happens, prayer can be a machinery to help you get there. Fasting can be a machinery to help you get there. Worship can be a machinery to get to help you get there but in themselves they cannot give you i know someone and he's i think he's one of the greatest person i've met in my life 
people talk about kings of fasting and people who fast i know somebody who fasted he rounded up last year 400 days 400 days very quiet brother nobody even knows him around 400 days i had the privilege of rounding up his fast with him and i prayed for him and laid my hands when he finished the 400 days six to six for 400 days in my life even in history i'm not saying you should do it i'm just telling you that there are people like that yet you will still see that there are certain dimensions that he has not entered so it's not just about fasting people brag with fasting they they intimidate others with fasting they make it look how many days have you fasted one will say three dry your wet say dry another person said all kinds of things if fasting alone brought people into the place of power some people would have brought the throne of god to the earth and be sitting on it by now let me tell you fasting will not in its own just make god reveal himself to you the psalmist said as the deer pants after the water pools bishop oedeko said something he said if you want to know the secret of the hand of god in my life you must know my heartbeat for god i know a lot of preachers who do not have the heartbeat for god i go for meetings and i talk with preachers after a powerful service they look at me and they admire deeply the things that God has done in my life. And when they come and sit down, 90% of them don't ask questions. They are just looking for an envelope. And they put offering and sign checks. Where is my PA? Bring check. And you, you sign it. You, you really think it will give you an encounter. I believe in giving and all of that. We've taught this there. And they just drop it. And they say, pray for me. When you meet a man of the spirit ask questions don't just kneel down and say lay hands on me what was the secret of this glory i know lots of preachers that teach well but three days after they are teaching people have forgotten everything they have said but i know certain people reinhard bonke is one of them you meet him once your life will never be the same i remember when he came for a crusade I think in Makodi, Dr. Paul Enenche said something. He said after the crusade, they should book the room and leave it 24 hours. The room that Paul Enenche slept in. Hallelujah. And when Paul, uh, when, 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 um, uh, what's his name now? The evangelist, Reinhard Bonke. When he left, Enenche said they should, they shouldn't repair it. He said all the people. They should not come and make it they should leave it as dirty as it is and he came there and laid down on that exact spot and said lord just give me the hunger that you gave this man i'm not asking for power just give me his hunger that's how to pray that's how to receive that's how to encounter power you are looking for the wrong things the hand of a man the wallet of a man all kinds of things look for the heart for god that that man has and you've gotten the secret of his anointing this one you cannot receive it as an impartation you must desire and covet and pursue the bible says there are many things that god has in store hallelujah something happened i think a week or, or two or, i think a week ago i was sharing with the students school of ministry hallelujah i wanted to listen to a message and i searched for it searched for it on on youtube i couldn't find it and i said lord would you help me and i slept it didn't take long when i slept i was in a dream and i went back to my laptop i listen to me true story and someone came and found the message for me and they played the message for me in the dream beginning to end so i woke up listen i'd listened to the message and i remembered everything there are some things you see god do for a man and you'll be like god you are not fair god says it's not that i'm not fair this guy has attracted me with so much passion it's, it's a love affair 
that's why many people stop at the outer court they cannot eat the hallowed bread but there are some people what somebody is fasting for for 10 days god will carry it as a gift and give a man who truly loves him there are sisters cat walking all around hoping that one brother will get to see them whereas another gentle sister is just saying lord come let me use you lord i love you and i seek you with all my heart and in that seeking god will just wake a brother who is sleeping in the night and he'll just wake up shut up god will say keep quiet this is not what we are talking about you see that lady she's your wife say lord please this is not the time god will say have you submitted to me or not say fire on. let me tell you the cheapest route to the hand of god is force his heart to come to your direction hallelujah that's the greatest church growth principle i know you can give people balloon and exercise book after service you can give them eclairs you can put all kinds of things put screens all around transport them to their houses if your heart does not pant after god let me tell you there are certain dimensions it's not demons god himself will stop you from entering hallelujah you will seek me and you will find me i listened to a very powerful um 26 minute video about passion and hunger for god and one 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 asian was talking to the people it inspired me and blessed me so much and he gave an analogy he said if you if you lose a i think is it a 10 or 50 cents if it falls in the night a coin maybe 10 or 50 cents and it falls in the night will you look for it if you check it around and you don't find it a coin that is so cheap pastor will you spend all the night looking for it but if you have a check of hundred thousand dollars that they gave you not you and your friend and it disappears even if it's the realm of the spirit you will use light and bring it back into this realm so tell me is god a cheap coin for you that you search if you don't find him no problem any other thing matter some of us can begin to seek God until a man comes into your life or until a woman comes or until you make five points or until you get that job you hear people say I'm busy I'm busy you are not busy when your leg breaks and they hang it for three months in Shika no going anywhere you sit down there you are not too busy but the one who can protect and preserve you it's amazing how people claim they are too busy for God say I'm too busy I have an appointment go is it not when God takes you there safely I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you Lord I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting This was the secret of David. Look at a man called David. See all the bad, bad things that David did. And it was as if God didn't see it. Go and study the life of David. And see how many criminal offenses David committed in his lifetime. Every bad thing you can imagine. Stealing somebody's wife. Kill the husband. Huh? slept with Bathsheba and when the first child died he did repent he still had Solomon with her again ate the temple shoe bread did all kinds of things yet hear the testimony God said he is a man after my heart that's why the guy accessed some realms he saw things that were not given for his dispensation to see it was david who sat down and his love for god he said how can i be in a palace like this and there is no house for my god although you do not need 
tents to dwell in but i will build you a house god said no you you're already a criminal you won't build me a house he said no problem god i love you i'm not offended i will put the money for my son and god said what kind of man is this there is a way you love god that god you you try to force god to be guilty if he does not bless you just love him don't ask him anything it's in his word he says any man that cannot cater for his family you make yourself the child then you come and make yourself like the wife of this one come on now you have placed god in a tight position that he must respond he called the nation of israel the apple of his eyes try to touch the apple of a man's eyes and you will see how his hand will reach to you and slap you and the bible says the right hand of god is power that's where habal is got it that you, you can go to a burial ground have you heard those kind of stories a hand will appear from nowhere and slap you and the guy will become deaf so what about the right hand of god that is power when god stretches that hand acts chapter 4 they said that you will stretch forth your hands when god stretches his hands it will clear the way the breath of his nostrils parted the red sea is it that god cannot save us listen i want to give us a food for thought and we will pray the way many of us treat god we are not sure whether god can come to our rescue or not what is a husband what is money what is a car brothers and sisters what is a house what is hiv that god cannot take it away what is ministry what is ministry that god cannot give you increase jesus entered a city and it was noised abroad what is a child that god cannot give you what are demons that god cannot keep them far from your life is the cause of on your life so great that god cannot help you are not the first to go through affliction ah i'm looking for money to marry it's just two months for my marriage keep quiet seven days god created the heavens and the earth how long does it take to give you money are you the first to get married or is your wife did she descend from heaven what is the special arrangement my child's school fees really you've not heard of people that god will stop from sleeping in the night to respond to those who truly love him i cannot tell you how many times people will send me texts in the middle of the night and say the lord woke me and said i must send you a seed i must send you recharge card and i said lord what are you doing to me i found a secret when you love him don't just seek to serve him yet emoji don't just seek to serve him yet seek to love him back up the name of your ministry whether it's, it's revival tower incorporated i'm not saying god didn't call you just keep it aside win the heart of god and you will ride on the wings of a dimension of his grace that you cannot experience or that you have never experienced before is someone getting blessed tonight this is a missing ingredient and so the apostle says it this way may the grace of our lord jesus christ we recite it after every meeting the love of god the koinonia the participation of the spirit let it remain with you i love god with my life this is the biggest secret i'm not the most gifted minister i'm not the most anointed minister i'm not the most eloquent minister i'm not the most intelligent minister i'm not the most experienced minister but one thing i can tell you ask god i love him oh i love him with my life and i love him with my heart i love him more than power i love him more than everything i love him more than all of this uh, this swan water and this bottle together with this serviette inside i love him more than this chair i love him more than anything marriage children wife husband mother father if you stand my way with god you already know you have lost that's the end of it do you love god that much god is asking you this question 
for when you do you will see power in your life you don't need to talk too much we just returned from university of ibadan and goodness what the lord did in that campus humbled me i have seen the hand of god and i see the hand of god week in week out but to see the humbling thing that 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 it was so humbling the wife of the commissioner of police of the state had to follow us to our hotel and stay there and we were talking with this woman till about 12 in the night she wouldn't go i had to be prophesying and praying for her and she gave her ipad for someone to record it she said my husband needs to see this this is the favor somebody has been sweating about sitting from morning till night in an office i want to see the commissioner of police they say see god he said no 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 i i know how we will do this thing because you think god wants your money i surrender all to you everything i give to you withholding nothing this will be our song this night withholding nothing tonight you will release that isaac withholding nothing withholding nothing sing i surrender all i surrender all to you everything i give Holding nothing, but holding nothing. I was talking with one of my friends one time, and he said, He calls me emoji. He said, Emoji, you are enjoying. No, I'm seeing your picture on Facebook all the time. Ministry is sweet, or you are just changing clothes. And I was looking at the person. I said, look at somebody I've not seen after one year. Look at what is in his mind. You see that? That's what is in his mind. To him, he's enjoying crowds, money. He said, you are rich. Oh. You hear that boss is carrying people. And I, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, what is, what is wrong with this brother? Because to him, he now thinks one kind of magic happened. Do you know that you came into this ministry? because God brought you it was a law that compelled you to come there was no guarantee that you would come but there was a guarantee that if I seek him I will find him and when you find him you will find everything he has his power his wisdom his grace this is the secret rise up on your feet we are going to pray hallelujah David I'm come you are going to sing that song again we are going to sing and we are going to pray listen for many of you two prayer points just two prayer points tonight the first is the prayer of release you're going to be crying and say lord i love you but truly you are not yet a priority there are i i don't know if i have that passion tonight forget about titles i don't want to know who you are in this place just cry to god and the second prayer is going to be a prayer for an encounter an encounter an encounter go ahead shake it take up ba 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 holding nothing sing from your heart lord i'm withholding nothing if you want the marriage take it if you want the relationship take it if you want my degree take it if you want my life take it if you want my ministry my anointing my money i sacrifice it my bank account my anointing take it over I surrender Sing it from your heart Everything I give to you Holding nothing Holding nothing Holding nothing
now the lord said unto abraham abraham take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him upon a mount that i will show you you are going to pray prayer point number one lord where is that isaac in my life that thing i cannot release and let go who is that isaac where is that isaac what is that thing i cannot give you lift your voice and pray and say lord it belongs to you it belongs to you some of you may cry as you are laying it down but let it go tonight let the intellect go tonight surrender it to him I declare that you are above that job. You are above that job. You are above that challenge. There is nothing my God cannot give you. Give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart tonight. Some of you need to rededicate your lives afresh. Outside. All the overflows. Some of us need to rededicate our lives. And say Lord I'm coming back home tonight. I've strayed from you. But I'm coming back home tonight. Holding nothing in. Hallelujah. There are some of us in business that took the place of God in our lives. You want to make money. Anyhow, you must make money. Others is ministry. You are now too busy for God. Too busy for the things of God. He's no longer a priority. Others academics others job before you got the job before you got the admission god was a priority right now we are so busy for him for others before you got married when you were praying and fasting and dropping offerings everywhere now the husband has come now the wife has come for many of us is your health when you were trusting god dying of hiv dying of cancer dying of a terminal disease you sought god but now that it has gone there's no time for him again we're holding nothing holding nothing hallelujah still praying number uh, prayer point number one you're going to pray you're going to say lord even if you never bless me again in this life you already have my heart the issue of backsliding or complaining will never occur in my life again even if the breakthrough does not come come on lift your voice that was the secret of shadrach meshach and abednego they said oh king we know that our god will deliver us but even if he does not deliver us we will not bow Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know you will bless me, but I love you more than the blessing. I love you more than my bank account. I love you more than my desire to be famous. Pray. Everything I give to you Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Hallelujah. Look at me. Job was at a point in his life 
where he was such a wealthy and a blessed man the bible says job testifying about himself he said in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord was upon my tabernacle he said i walked upon butter and i sought honey out of the rock he said the young men saw me and they bowed their faces the old men saw me and they stood up that was the position of job and one day the devil went to the lord and said is it for nothing that this man serves you in other words his heart is not with you and god said you can touch everything don't touch his life let me watch and in one day his children went his cattle went everything went and job sores came out of him dogs will come and lick his sores and his wife the first lady of a community became an object of embarrassment all the friends left him and the wife told job he said do you still hold your integrity do you still hold your love do you love god that much to be a fool you have become a talk of the town people have mocked you job you were a great man do you not remember when you dined with kings and job looked at her and said why do you speak like one of these stupid women he said though he slay me yet will i praise him the bible says in all of this job sinned not it was not out of his mouth that he uttered anything bad he said i know my redeemer liveth and the bible says job was in a predicament but he stopped focusing on himself and he was praying for his friends when job prayed for his friends the only other person that did that was jesus and stephen on the cross he prayed for the people stephen and the bible says god turned the captivity of job and he had double of everything children cattle what are you going through that is challenging your christian integrity let me preach to somebody for two minutes what are you going through financial challenge your academics you may be on probation right now you may even be withdrawn let me tell you all hope is not lost the bible says though weeping endures for the night you wrote charm seven times and it looks like nothing is coming some of you are due for graduation but you've been kept again and again can i tell you something like job i want you to speak tonight that though he slay me yet will i praise him all your colleagues have gotten married and you are the only one who is not married all other people have gone ahead of you they are even laughing they said they sinned and they are still blessed but you who has been righteous for years don't compromise your deliverer is coming i assure you god will ride upon the horse and come speedily to deliver you with holy nothing You may be married and it looks like your marriage is not working you're just smiling around but things are not working let me tell you your deliverer is coming some of you your homes are it's a place of living hell all kinds of war happened there father mother everybody some of you you are the only ones who are saved in your family and it's bringing a lot of challenge let me prophesy to you that if your heart is connected to God there is nothing my God will not give you the Lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you there is nothing I will not give you I have received things from God I cannot remember when I prayed for hallelujah the last prayer point and we'll round up tonight listen you're going to pray hallelujah and you're going to say lord give me an encounter that is bigger than the challenge i'm going through right now give me an encounter that is bigger than the success i've experienced so that whether my challenges or my successes they will not stand your place lift your voice and pray give me an encounter give me an encounter oh god Lift your voice and pray. Give me an encounter. Open my eyes to see Jesus. 
open my eyes to see something bigger than my challenges open my eyes to see something bigger than ministry something bigger than titles Give me an encounter that will create the impetus for my spiritual life. No backsliding, no going back. Pray, I cry for an encounter. Open my eyes, O God. Give me the vision of the night. Let me see Jesus seated on the throne. Let me hear his voice. Let me feel his embrace. Yeah, you have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. When you seek me with all your heart. Listen, hallelujah. Listen, we are still in a prayer mode. The altar call tonight is very special. We are still going to pray. Don't stop praying. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, listen, or you know that you've backslidden, as we pray, I'd like you to run from wherever you are, inside or outside. Just come and be on your knees and be praying. There are people God is calling back. You know where you used to be. Don't be ashamed. You've never given your heart to the Lord, inside or outside. As we pray right now, please leave your seat. Come out here quickly. Come out here quickly. Lift your voice and let's pray. Shake it. Quickly, quickly. Don't wait for anybody to call you. Come by yourself. Come and cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Cry before your maker. Say, Lord, I'm returning home tonight. Cry before your maker. Yeah, 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 I want you to cry to the Lord give your life to Jesus by yourself don't pretend it you are not reciting any poem this night cry out to God from the depths of your heart and say Lord I'm sorry I return home tonight let me tell you your friends can let you down your association can let you down why don't you give your heart to the one who will never let you down? 
Don't be ashamed of your tears. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Some of us did not even re realize when we left God. You didn't even realize when you stopped pursuing Him. It's not like you were backsliding. You didn't realize when success started taking God out of your life. When failure started taking God out of your life. Those of you in front cry. I know there are some of you inside and outside that should be here. Whether you are here or not, cry to God where you are. And say, Lord, I mean business with you. I mean business with you. I mean business with you. Beyond ministry, I mean business with you. I mean business with you. I mean business with you. I mean business. He is supposed to come out. And he did not come out. He is supposed to come out. I mean business with you. The Lord is telling me that he wants to visit the root of witchcraft in families. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Because the power of God will move in a mighty way. There are families here. Hear me. You love God, but you do not know what is at the root of the tragedies of the families. There are spirits. There are covenants. There are fraternities with darkness that have kept families bound. It may not even be your fault. You are inheriting the wickedness of men. But tonight, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. 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 As I speak over your life, again, the Lord is going to be ministering to families. It may not have anything to do with you as a person. Some of you, you will step into visions immediately and begin to see a lot of destruction and havoc going on. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now inside the first overflow, the second overflow across the road, every family that is under the influence of any satanic manipulation lord you will not only identify them they must be free at the count of three i want you to shout i am free are you ready now one two three all tasks all tasks all tasks all tasks I call you by your name and I curse you by the God of heaven. I call you by your name. Altars in Benway State. Altars in Kogi State. Altars in Kaduna State. Altars in the West. Altars in the East. My goodness. Shekete Kotokete. Rekete Tekete. Rekete Kota every local government every state i set fire on those altars fire 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 on those altars fire on those altars every covenant with the waters every covenant with the air every covenant with the earth every covenant of darkness tying families i declare that this is your time of jubilee i send the word of judgment i send the word of judgment
Hallelujah. I wish the Lord can open your eyes to see the mighty things that are happening. Mighty things that are happening. Hallelujah. Listen. Something very strange will start happening here now. Listen. Listen to me. Because I just saw a vision like a bunch of keys. It just dropped on the ground. Listen. This, this is a sign of access in the spirit. The Lord showed me a vision. And I saw in the spirit a bunch of keys. Now it's not for everybody. But I'm about to pray. Once it comes on you. Except God did not call me. You will see doors open. It's called breakthrough. Lift your head. I stand under this apostolic anointing. And in the name of Jesus. Every destiny. That needs this breakthrough. At the count of three. Receive it. Receive it. Take it now. 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 I distribute those keys in the spirit. I distribute those keys inside and outside. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Breakthroughs. 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 The opening up of destinies. The opening up of destinies. The opening up of destinies. Shekabakata Labatosh. Shekete Katababa. Kaparato Sokotosh. Embrekete Lekotoshata. Listen. Those of you outside, I want you to hear me. Because the Holy Spirit is going to do something now. The Lord asked me to come out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want count three. My goodness. There is such anointing in this place. And I see the angels, Lord. The moment you count three, I'm going to start moving across this crowd. And the power of God will start falling on people. Whatever has locked your destiny, it must open it right now. Are you ready now those outside please believe we are not playing games father in the name of jesus may the angels move in this crowd in the name of jesus at the count of three shout at one two three receive it right now right now right now right now right now i stretch my hands as i move across let an anointing come as i pass your role as I pass your role, you will stand it. As I pass your role, an anointing, an anointing. Take it, 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 take it now. I stretch my hands. Take it, take it. This side, receive it. Take it now. 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 I stretch my hands. Take it now. Take it now. Everyone in this row, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Take it now. All those here, there is an angel of the Lord standing on your row. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Just allow me to pass your row. As I'm coming, there are angels walking with me. As I'm coming, the power of God will touch you right now. I stretch my hands here. Everyone here, right now, take it now. Take it right now. Take it right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. Call this man, come. This big man, come. What's your name? Come now, let's hurry up. What's your name? The Lord is saying, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel, from where? From Edo State, sir. From Edo State. I mean, are you in Zaria? In Zaria. You are in Zaria. I want you to rejoice because you have entered a new level this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As you celebrate them, you connect to their prophecy. Listen, because I'm seeing you in a cage. This is what I see. 
I've not started prophesying yet, but I'm seeing you in a cage and I'm seeing you telling the Lord, I know that if I come here, my situation will change. In the name that is above all names, I lay my hands upon you and I end that captivity right now. Take it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is grace? There's someone grace around here. Who is grace? I'm hearing that the Lord is showing me someone grace. Who is grace? Please come quickly. Let's save time. Come. Where is your mother? Zango. Zango. Is she sick? My sister is sick. Don't worry. Is your mother sick? She doesn't even know she's sick. But she's sick. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going to your house and healing two people. Your mother and your sister. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your mother and your sister. What do you do? You're a student. What do you do? Huh? Applicant. Job applicant. Do you believe that if I pray for you, the Lord will give you a job? Will you come and testify before God's people? I lay my hands upon you and I release that job for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From this road down like this, there are a number of ladies with abdominal pain. Because I'm seeing like the angel of the Lord is moving something. I stretch my hands right now. Whoever they are, the power of God is coming upon them right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that pain, that abdominal pain must go. It must go right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me try to walk to the first overflow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. You will start experiencing the power of God in your life in a very strange way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I lay my hands upon you right now. Step into a new season. I want to pray for this overflow. There are so many people. Please believe God. Don't think I've come outside because I want to identify with you. So you don't think you are at a disadvantage. No. Distance is no barrier. Some of you are enduring cold. It's touching my heart. Talk more of the heart of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And some of you need to watch because what you are seeing me do is what you will be doing in some years to come. So just watch it. You are just receiving miracles. There is an impartation. Joseph. Who is Joseph? Here. Yeah. Joseph. I'm hearing a name, Joseph. You are wearing like a collar, like for cold. Who is that? You are Joseph. The Lord is going to do mighty things through you. Stand up. There's cold so you don't enjoy yourself. Are you hearing me? I want to stay true with God and watch God do great things in your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing two old women. They are sitting on the same seat. Where are they? Here, this row. Two mama like this. Where are they? Is there some... Who is that? The Lord is asking me to talk to them. Just leave them. Mama, do I know you? Have we seen before? I'm looking at you. Can, can they... If they cannot hear, we can speak any language. Can I talk to you, mama? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. When I, don't be afraid. I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. And the Lord is saying, if we don't pray for you, that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car. It's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing. But the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. The second thing is there's no finances at all. Everything flat. Is that true? Is that true in your life? Is what why you came? Where is your daughter? Do you have a daughter? Huh? I'm seeing a lady close to you, like a, a I don't know if she's a, a daughter or a logical or not, because I'm seeing the Lord is saying that He wants to bless her with marriage. You are the one, okay? You are the one standing close to her. Are you ready to marry? Because God is going to surprise you. Do you believe that? Huh? Say I receive. I receive. I receive. You are not. You are. You are trying to, uh, trust lady, but my dear, prophecy. You. See? A madman like this i'm only responding to god just out and see what the anointing does shout i receive as loud as i receive jesus christ i break that curse over your head mama you will not die all of you here stretch your hands to her and say mama will not die take us your mother pray for her mama will not die in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah I'm looking at this other mama. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. But there are three things I see the devil want to do. 
Number one, eyes. Ah. Huh? But two, I'm seeing her inside a coffin. They have already closed it, and there's blood on top of the coffin. Are you hearing what I'm? Somebody used her eyes to make money with it. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm not a prophet of doom. Me don't like what I'm saying, but I cannot but say what God is asking me to say. Are you hearing? What I'm, saying? I'm seeing a lady here. I'm, I'm still going to come in, please. We are trying to work with the time. Um, but I'm seeing a lady here. How you will know is the power of God is about to come upon you right now. One of the ladies here. This is witchcraft that has destroyed the life of your family. And the Lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow. Father, wherever she is right now, locate her. The power of God is going to come on one lady right now. It will be like fire. You can't stand it. It will come upon you. Please, when that happens, let me know that lady right now. Not just those inside. I know God is inside, but this row, this row, Father, wherever that lady is, I'm declaring right now by the anointing of the Spirit of God that she will be located so that her can be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, your name means joy. It's a tribal name, but it has joy. It's like it. Who is that person, please? Your name means joy. That's if you translate your name, it has something to do with joy, joy or joyful or something like that. Do we have someone like that? Please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting. If, if you are that cop with the protocol, who is that? What's that? Uh? Come. What's your name? What I means what? Child of joy. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in Kaduna. Is this working? Okay. Tell your mother her time will lay hands on you. And I want that if you go back and see your mom, just ask her to allow you to break through. My hands upon you right now. I don't mean their English names are Joy. What's, what's your name? From where? Your name is All of you, your name is Joy. Okay, I'm going to name you. Let me talk to you. Come, my dear. Where is your family? Kaduna, I'm going to pray for you. Because that has tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. And God is saying that He's lifting them up by His grace. Father, let it end right now. Out of this family, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands on all of you. I lay my hands upon you. Help her, please. Help her so that she can Who is that? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hold on. There is a lady wearing white scarf. She's on at the wall. She's leaning on the wall. Where is that lady? Please bring her. I'm seeing in a vision. There's a lady wearing white scarf. White scarf. Is there someone like that? You are leaning on the fence. White scarf. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Give God a praise. Who is that? What's your name? Favor. But there's nothing favorable in your life. And the Lord is saying, change her story. Do I know you? That your name is Favor? I want to pray for you. Do you believe if I pray for you, the Lord will grant you favor? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. I restore favor to you right now I restore favor to you by the power of the Holy Spirit come my dear this lady yes come hallelujah there is an anointing listen there is an anointing um, I promise those of you outside by the grace of God hopefully by next miracle service We'll try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will 
it will be very clear for you outside all right i know that the people did their best but you can see that the crowds are increasing praise the lord but there was an anointing that was upon esther it's called the favor anointing in the course of the meeting i'm going to be praying for people but the lord is saying i should minister this to you do you believe it huh father in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon this lady and i release this grace upon her in the name of jesus i release this anointing upon her in the name of jesus i release this anointing upon her in the name of jesus who came from Kano? i'm seeing Kano. come you are not alone you are with one lady where are you huh two of you husband and wife come did you tell me you are coming come she's your friend who is she how are you my dear you came from Kano. what do you do i'm see I, I, no you are not just a student there's something else you are doing i'm teaching you are teaching how about her witchcraft is what god is breaking now in the name of jesus christ because i'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend i command that chain to leave right now in the name of jesus christ i lay my hands upon you and i i command that chain to go in the name of jesus christ and for you i declare you will step into a new dimension of intimacy with god that's what you need you have been praying boom fasted help him you fasted that god will give you an anointing it's not an anointing for ministry, it's an anointing for fellowship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Look at me what has happened to your music ministry that's what the lord is saying i should tell you huh do you sing sing something let's hear my god is awesome he will move the whole world what has happened to your music ministry god gave you an anointing you have been playing games with it come because god wants to restore that fire as soon as i pass you i saw i saw i heard like music and god says restore his music ministry there are three things that can destroy a man's ministry any ministry one pride huh? two women or men or anything just human beings are you hearing what i'm saying and then number three is premature exposure when people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record but i'm going to pray for you huh? you, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of god but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and i lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of jesus christ all of you here please lift your hands i want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe As I pray for you and I count three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. There are people here under yokes and spells. As soon as you shout that name Jesus, the anointing of the Spirit will move through this very overflow. This very overflow. I wanted to leave, but God is still speaking to me about this overflow. Please, I want you to believe. Help them so they don't fall inside the gutter. Father, I'm doing as you have instructed me. And I prophesy right now. That as they all shout the name of Jesus, let the power of God visit the foundations of every family represented here. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. Right now, in the name of Jesus, right now, help them, right now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit from your life and your destiny. There is a, a man that appears to one lady here. As I pray for you now, fire is coming upon you. You will never see that man again, not in your dreams. I command him, go, 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 go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you deliverance. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of Jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of Jesus the lady with the black hat tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes I release that anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ before I leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now seven people Lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the Lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is wiping your tears let it end right now let it end now now never to return to you again never to return I stretch my hands all over this room right now right now right now right now every force of darkness never returns in the name of Jesus there is a spirit I'm dealing with I know what I'm seeing right now right now I judge you by the God of heaven right now let them go let them go let them go now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands the chain is breaking right now i stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break i break it by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost now i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus I restore your glory I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus please pray and ask the Lord to visit you pray and ask the Lord to visit you aha aha you must go in the name of Jesus you must go 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 any spirit represented here you must leave right now I tell you any force of darkness tying down your life Hold on, please. Hold on. Who is this, Mama? My brother. What's wrong with your marriage? This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, no, no. Please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm seeing 21st October. He was to be to die and please, mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you too, you have problems. But you are not even concerned about your problem. You are not concerned about what is happening to your finances. You are not concerned about the pain in your back. You keep feeling pain in your back when you wake up. As I enter here, I hear my pain go, just go away. The pain just went away when she came here. Look at this. Even before the meeting. From Kaduna, me and my... Hold on. 
Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We, my children sleep with your, with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass urine, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here. The other one is here. I finish university here in Ebi. That's this prayer. May we do? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Ministry. <laughs> you have a ministry. My goodness. Can you imagine? I'm looking at you. What is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring. The spring. The spring. <laughs> In the name that is above all names. Mama, listen. Please don't cry. The Lord is visiting you. Because this woman you see is an intercessor. This woman can stay for hours. Praying for people who are not even her, it's none of our business as the Holy Spirit ministers to her. You see, but nothing is changing in your own life. You pray for people and God will do miracles. It's true. Is that true? The Lord says, I should tell you your whole life would change. Amen. Hallelujah. Please come, follow me. Mama, the Lord is wiping. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is wiping your tears. Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. This boy is not your... You are calling him son, but he's not your son. Because I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing a father. Where's your father? He's dead, sir. Father is dead. And this is what the Lord... I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing father. It's like the father is related to you. He's my elder. Brother. And so you took him as your son. That's why you are calling him son. But this boy is not your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ... The Lord is going to use you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? Mommy, you, God is wiping your tears because this finance, the thing can't just enter your hand. It will enter and go out. And we have to pray. Because the people that killed his father want to destroy you. And we have to pray. I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's gone and but we are not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama. And it's because of the destiny of this person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you. What's wrong with him? You see, Ba, what the Lord is showing me, I'm not going to say everything here, but what the Lord is showing me, today, they will see that he has one sickness. They will do another test. Huh? They will do a scan and come out with something else. The devil is just playing, using medicine to play with your mind. This is witchcraft. They have already buried this person and this issue has finished. But in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm declaring and I'm speaking to everyone here. I stand under the anointing and I pray for you that every power that is tying down your family, it must leave you this night in the name of Jesus. It must leave you this night. It must go, 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 go. Go! The same thing, it must go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please come, madam. The Lord is saying I shall anoint you. Come. You are going to do great things for God. God is going to use you greatly. I know you may not think you are like that, but God will use you from today. I open your eyes to the realm of the Spirit. You will step into unusual dimensions of grace. I activate dimensions in your spirit. Elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open. I open your eyes to visionary encounters. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards our mother here. This woman's situation has really touched me. Come mama. No, no, no. Mommy, please stand up. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. All the way from Kaduna. A woman with a ministry interceding for others. This is our brother. The devil wants to terminate the life of this person. I'd like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of Jesus. The same power that raised Christ from the dead. The same power that raised Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. Mommy. Will you believe if I tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight? Listen, you believe with all your heart. 
have you forgotten the dream god showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people i believe i saw it so i remember did you tell me is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people i'm just praying healing them and you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level two areas the issue of barrenness the issue of barrenness it will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness are you hearing what i'm saying you will come back and testify before the people of god this thing is being recorded and the second area the second area is hiv such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with hiv listen paul said i desire to see you he said that i may impart some spiritual gift it doesn't matter the age impartation can happen are you hearing what i'm saying madam hold my hands i want you to shout jesus and watch what begins to happen to you go ahead jesus. father i pray from today an anointing an anointing a transference of grace an ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today an ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the spirit in a strange way in a strange way go and heal the sick 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 in the name of jesus christ come madam look at me come watch this mommy lay your hand on him and pray for him just do what i'm asking you to do lay your hands and speak to him look at me you carry this anointing and you will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness anointing is not for show brothers and sisters but i tell you it will scare you this anointing will bring wealth to you people will sow into your life because of the impact in her life come on Go, when you go back lay this picture on your brother and pray for him God will take him out of that hospital and when he does bring him here and he will come and testify to the glory of God the Lord told me he's wiping your tears come sir what do you do what do you do what did you study I'm going to pray for you you want to further Yes, sir. Political science. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. It was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Amen. Although what you studied, um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something. Federal College of Education. You study something that has to do with education. Business education. Business education. But then it's leadership. And God is taking you to that position. When you study it, he will make you a great leader. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Wait, Mr. Man. Just wait. Let me finish. I'm praying for you. Make sure when God blesses you, you never forget this woman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You never forget this woman. She has done what for you many people will not do. She has taken you as a son. She has spent her money to the last to help you. Is that true? If you forget this woman god will not be happy with you let me use this as an encouragement you see when somebody suffers to help you and you rise you will be a wicked person to forget that person some of us are like this some of our parents have labored to help us don't say i must be a millionaire before i bless them the day god gives you twenty thousand, you can take one thousand and say mama take some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. 
for what you have done mama my god will visit you in the name of jesus christ i pray for you from the depth of my heart my god will visit you in the name of jesus please bring this woman for me this one wearing this very one yes this she's she's not feeling fine something is wrong with her please let her come Is God blessing you tonight? Who brought her? Please, who brought her? If you brought her, please come with her so that we'll know what it is. There's no man. What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her or you know her okay it's your junior sister from where can she hear me or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language you need translation if i talk to you can you talk to her in the language tell her that jesus christ is going to heal her of diabetes what tribe are you madam Eh? He got her up as to Alpha now. Carry mic. What are you here? Oh, yeah, yeah, carry mic. Because I'm trying to. Let's make this easy. Give him mic, please. Every tribe here, there must be somebody. If there's nobody who will lay hands on somebody for the purpose, there's no other mic. Okay, don't worry. Come, Pastor. Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to visit her. Jesus, I chug guy by a dog. Ask her question. And she can't know. And the dream of death that she has been having. Or now, who can nally? And God is going to heal her. Or Jana How long have you done something? I quite bow guy for the way. Does she know what's going on? Diabetes. What couldn't she do? Then when money gets you good, then it gets you colon. Mama, ask. Tell her I'm going to pray for her, and the power of God will come. Yana chadwe, buy your job, I will give. Papa, and me and her will run here now. Onku yana rule me, Papa. I'm going to pray for her and we will not walk, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We if we do Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who dot down diabetes. Diabetes. In the name of Jesus. If we do Jesus. Look at what is happening to her. It's a spirit. Look at are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is happening. This is an old woman. Huh? Diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Mama. Tell her. Tell her. That she's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Tell her to her hands. Walk. Come. Fast. Come. Come. Come, come. Turn around. Turn around. Run, run, come. Come on, give Jesus praise. Look at the miracle here. Look at the miracle. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful Igala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And the Igala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, look how I'm a Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David. 
the shout, the shout, the shout. This miracle remains permanent forever. How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is. But I'm seeing it's, it's something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. They, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. Oh. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody. Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now, your eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back. You didn't even remember. Now your stomach is swelling. We'll deal with that one. I don't know you. I'm just just stand there. That one is is an easy something. This come the come. You have a problem. Come up. The devil. I, the devil wants to destroy this lady because if i don't pray for you they will i'm seeing your case getting so serious they will now take you to india for a kidney pr transplant what's wrong with you kidney nef the nephritis what does that mean inflammation how do you know it's the doctor told me i cannot lie on both sides of my kidney you can't lie down here. Yes, and even yet, I sleep straight. You see the wickedness of the devil. That even to sleep, you can't sleep this way. You can't sleep. How else do you sleep? Lie down flat. That devil must leave you. What's your name? Precious. You know her. Who knows her? Before you now start talking another rubbish story. Daddy. Please come, sir. Our, our daddy. Yes, sir. Our daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with, no. The Hold your photo like this, sir. Open it to the third one. That's what I want to talk to you about. One, okay. I'm seeing, okay, I thought it was the third one. Back, I'm seeing another photo. This thing is like, it's supposed to be three. It's not two. Where is the third one? At home. That's the one I want to talk about. That's why I said take it to the third one. You brought two here. But the person I want to talk about, there is a third one. Who is in that photo? Henry. Henry. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you, do you know? That if, if, if you can come for koinonia alone, you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive. Tell somebody koinonia and see the way demons fight they are coming here. Flimsy excuses. They will tell you, uh, I just think I don't have this. It's because the devil knows. He knows. That's what happened to this person. And you see today would have been his day of visitation. I looked at this and I saw three, because I'm not, you may see me looking at you physically, but I'm operating from the spirit. I saw three pictures and I said, go to the third one. You left the third one at home, just like the person to come. If he agreed, the Holy Ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one. You see, please, brothers and sisters, when you invite people and they refuse, don't insult them. You're a spiritual man. You should know that is to you a sign that God wants them to be here. Are we together now? Daddy, I'm going to talk to you now and I'll pray with you. There's something about him, but I will not tell you in public. Huh? So that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want, it's not something where this is a public talk, but it's, 
we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening there is a spirit that converts men it doesn't happen by default we must attack it in the name of jesus christ where is this our lady come we are going to pray for this kidney both of your kidneys is verified that you have a, a kidney problem so we're going to pray lay your hands on it please can we pray for this dear one anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us don't say it's not yet my issue uh -uh. pray for her your prayer is working there's a surgery the Lord is doing in her place your hand on her I command that devil right now out out of her that spirit masquerading as kidney kidney problem in the name of Jesus Christ I command a miracle for you right now I stretch my hands I make contact by the anointing of the Holy Ghost my goodness there's such power flowing I declare a miracle I declare a miracle I declare a miracle stand up stand up what couldn't you do before press it press it right now surprised even her her and her own body she's even surprised that something is happening her and her own body i pray that god will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the lord jesus christ you don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed if you are not anointed you will make a ceremony out of nothing but when that anointing is not about trying to get it done if it's there is there if it's not there is not there my dear check it honestly if there's pain tell us we will not be afraid this god is touching another lady heal her oh god in the name of jesus fire is coming on a lady's throat I don't know what has to do i'm about to pray for the sick but i'm seeing throat right now there is a lady like that fire is coming something will touch your throat it's like a sickness my dear i like you to shout i am healed shout it I am healed. shout it again I am healed. shout it one more time Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth and nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ, strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. 
I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done. Before we continue, there's one person from protocol. That's what I see in the spirit. Protocol department. The protocol department. There's somebody that the Lord is touching right now. In protocol department, wherever you are, I really don't care where, whether inside or outside. But God is touching somebody right now. Right now in protocol department. It's like fire. It will just come on you all of a sudden. It's a sign and a wonder. It's a miracle. Please let me have those people out. There's a reason why I'm calling them out. That person from Boshri. Who is that? Protocol department. Where's the person from? Where? Well, well, well. Hallelujah. Bring three of them. It's a prophetic language. I want to tell you what God is saying through this. The first impartation is God prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons. So just like an usher brings you, it's a prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release it upon you. I release it upon you right now. Just like an usher takes you into a new level. I stand under this anointing and I prophesy, enter a new season. Enter a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. The impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies. The Lord is saying he's ending stagnancy. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is ending stagnancy. In the name of Jesus Christ. The person from the protocol, the Lord is saying, I will be your defender. Even in this season, I release that word upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone that came with a sick person, um, it's already happening to Pastor Femi, but Pastor Femi and three members of Rema will come under the anointing right now. Three members who are members of Rema Chapel. That's what I'm seeing as it's happening to him. It's happening to three people. Three people who attend Rema Chapel. Three people. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a new season for you. New season for you. New season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to bring them out. Just leave them where they are. Hallelujah. We have five minutes to do this. Five minutes because there is the session where I prophesy. Please make sure we are going to try to finish fast. But make sure you receive everything. Don't come and waste your time and stay. Now all those who came with sick people. Apart from those who have been healed. If you brought somebody sick, please bring them out quickly. Quickly, let's lay hands on them. Give us some worship. Please, quickly. The Lord is healing people. There's the healing anointing in this place right now. God is a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. Please, quickly. No matter which of the overflows. Brothers and sisters, there is multiplied grace in this house. Don't come and go back sick. You just need a touch. It's, it's just a touch. There's no need for any long story. So you don't necessarily have to be saying this. What is wrong with me if I don't ask you? Just a touch. Even if you are coming here for the first time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those of us who are out here. Jesus loves you. That's why he wants to heal you. Please. I want you to receive. You can reject it. But I want you to receive it with all your heart. As I pray for you, you go back, check yourself. Because of time, we may not have time to share testimony. But hold on, please. Let me say something about testimonies. Um, it is, you are robbing God of glory when God gives you healing and blessings. There are so many people who God has been touching, but they never return. To give thanks one of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks please come your breakthrough has come 
Yes, please, madam, come. The Lord is bringing a visitation to you right now. Don't put her up. Just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her. And so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Ma, please look at me. God is restoring you financially, spiritually. Financially, there is an anointing on you as I speak to you. Financially, spiritually. I'm seeing God step even into your marriage. Our mother is crying. Your marriage. This is the reason why you came. Because there's nothing there. God is stepping in to do a miracle for you. To the glory of his name. Miracle for you. Who is this? Your mom. What's wrong with her? She has, she has been sick three years. And don't, don't even know what, why didn't you bring her here? Yola. Yola. Hold the picture. Just hold it. I will use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your healing power touch mama. She's in your lab, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Speed! I prophesy it upon you. Never to be the same again. And we pray for healing for mama. He will testify in the name of Jesus. The anointing is so strong on you. God is bringing restoration in your marriage. God is bringing restoration in your finances. God is bringing restoration in your spiritual life. I command everything the devil has stolen to give way. In the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe we'll be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues because immediately after this, we'll be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request. Please pass it. So ushers, you can split yourself inside and outside. Someone attend to those in the overflows. Please, very quick. Thank you, Jesus. Let your power touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A glorious God. A miracle world. Right Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual. This is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to you? Uh, the, uh... I am, I'm just sick. I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go and do scanning. They said my spleen don't, don't big. My spleen don't big. So later on, what is that? Come now, doctor. You're already there. The spleen is an organ that reserves blood just below the ribs on the left side. I'm wondering that it's a cancer is disturbing me. Cancer. Cancer of what? So for now, I'm still there for this hospital for this uh, Shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I believe Jesus. Love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm born again, sir. You're serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that, will you smile and tell him continue and die? Is that love? So I want you to know that this thing, God has no hand in it. This is the devil. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Lay your hands on your stomach. Don't let the name cancer scare you. You understand? It is because of what you have heard, the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that it's cancer. 
uh, and made you feel it is destructive. There is the life of God. It's called the way. The very life of God. And I want to pray to you. You believe that? You want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die. I believe that like every other person, you have your plans and aspiration. And this is already threatening you to cut short your life. Huh? Are you married? Where's your wife? Because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now and saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus, cancer, die. In the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body. We bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus. That this cancer will die. And it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Hosea. So make sure you testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. those outside can we rise this is a very prophetic moment hallelujah this is a very very serious moment the requests here contain the names of loved ones I want you to know that everyone is an evangelist this year there is there is need for massive salvation the Lord spoke to me and said he's trusting that he will find the people who will bring souls this year like never before and i told him i said lord i'm available so make sure that from now till december you don't come alone we, we are on a mission not just to ease ourselves of the guilt of not being soul winners it's serious business hallelujah please those who are yet to submit the names of their loved ones that you are trusting God for them to be saved and then our requests very quickly we have a few minutes now we're going to do it in this order the moment let me make an altar call before we pray for this so we can conserve our time there are people here 
Hear me. First overflow, second overflow across the road. Listen. There are people here, probably you were invited and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he so loved you, and he demonstrated that love by giving his all, his one and only begotten son. Please, by the way, I don't want you to miss the series we are starting next week. We are taking a series on the gospel. We are going to be examining who Jesus is and the message that he brought. What is the content in the gospel that really saves men. So this is profound. We preachers have been distracted teaching people on restoration and demons. We need to get back and let people understand who Jesus is. What message did he bring? And why is it very powerful? Where are we really going with all this Christianity thing? So it's a powerful series. You don't want to miss it. We'll be having that all through February. Praise the Lord. It will rattle the foundation of your understanding about God and will be walking in exchange. Hallelujah. For instance, let me give you a little preview. Um, the message of Jesus, when he came, his message was just one word, repent. That's all Jesus said, repent. So we're going to be checking what does it mean to repent? Does it mean to come and emotionally answer a, a, a poem? to repeat after the man of God what, what is the what is the jurisdiction of that word repent hallelujah so this is very very important I'm going to make an altar call now and while the people march forward please clear the way for them we'll stretch our hands and be interceding first for souls leave the issue of your needs we're going to intercede you wrote their names you know call them by their names and say Lord we receive their salvation if you save me you can save them you don't want to watch your family members in hell and they are calling on you and saying you know me we came out from the same womb but some of them we know that they are going to hell there's no confusion about it god is a god of love we'll be learning next week but then the truth is there is hell don't let anybody deceive you there is a place called hell there are people there right now praise the lord you are here you need to make your ways right with god you've been hearing preachers talk again and again outside inside you probably are making this decision for the first time seriously in your life or you've been answering many other calls you don't even know how many and you don't know the name of what you have been doing and tonight you are saying i really want to come out and make a decision or you have even given your life to christ you are a pastor you are you know functioning the body of christ but you know that you need a a rededication of your life Things happen around your life, discouragements, God didn't answer your prayer and he made you to derail out of the way of the Lord. Those two categories of people, I'm going to count one to five. Please, for time's sake, for time's sake, wherever you are, leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain, especially for those outside. One, quickly, God bless you. God bless you. Don't, don't fight it. Win that war tonight. There are so many people coming from outside. No matter how far, don't say it's too far. Make your way to Jesus. God bless you. One. Two. Keep coming, please. Don't stop. Don't let your friend, don't let anyone stop you. This is a destiny decision. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. You know that he loves you. That he allowed you to come for Koinonia tonight. It's a sign that he loves you and he has great plans for you. Make your way to the front very quickly. While they come, keep coming, please. Stretch your hands towards this request and begin to pray in tongues, please, everybody. Pray in tongues first for the salvation. Forget about your prayer request. Please keep coming. You know you need to be out here. No matter how long it will take, please make your way to the front. No matter what you have done, Jesus loves you and he can give you a new beginning. So make your way to the front. Stretch your hands and let's pray on this request. All of you that are inside, just stretch your hands as a point of contact. Those outside, stretch your hands towards the screen and let's pray. Shegata prata gada balada bash. Mam broto koto po shoto prata gada balada bash. Ragada barato kosoto prata gele 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 bash. Shekapa bakata balada bash. Shekapa roko to po sh. Mante kroto skobara balash. Lord, we pray for every soul. Every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul, every soul in this place. 
Lord save them some of them are not even Christians save them to the uttermost young and old we receive their salvation give them dreams give them encounters you died for them they must not go to hell you have great plans for them they need to experience the love of Jesus we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls in the name of the Lord Jesus Lord save our fathers save our mothers save our brothers our classmates our colleagues in the office in the name of Jesus our families no matter how far they are from the cross bring them to meetings give them encounters Holy Spirit we permit your ministry in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah now begin to pray over your request lay your hands over your request by faith and say Lord I turn it into a testimony go ahead and pray I turn it into a testimony I turn it into a testimony I turn it into a testimony Father, give your people testimonies. Breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we bring this before your altar. Give your people manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Manifold testimonies. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we pray for every soul represented here. We release angels of salvation wherever they are in the name that is above all names. We authorize these angels to hunt for their souls. They will know no peace till they find the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release dreams we release visions of Jesus. We release encounters with the world. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere they turn to, they will hear the gospel. They will hear it in church. They will hear it in class. They will hear it everywhere. For those who have vowed that they will not give their life to Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we we place their stubbornness side by side with the blood of Jesus and we declare that their souls must be saved and not only saved they will be saved added to the church and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for these requests Lord right here are uh, humanly speaking impossible situations but lord as i walk upon them they become testimonies as i walk upon them they become testimonies and lord your people will stand to testify in the presence of everyone healings and miracles and breakthroughs and salvations and restorations in the name of the lord jesus christ now, those of you who are making this decision for Jesus Christ, I love you from the depth of my heart and I thank you for coming out to accept Jesus Christ. It's a very noble decision. Hallelujah. There's no need to feel as if you are going to hellfire. It's an exciting thing because it looks natural, but it is supernatural in every way. Lift your right hand and say this after me. I'm just guiding you, but it's, it's, it's the truth from your heart that really sets you free say Lord Jesus I love you 
with all my heart some of you as you are praying you will literally feel things leaving you as you are praying jesus said i am the way the truth and i am the life say after me again lord jesus i believe in you and i love you with all my heart i accept that i cannot help myself and i ask you tonight save me cleanse me in the name of jesus everything in me that is not from you i command to leave me right now i declare that i have eternal life in my spirit i'm a child of god my goodness i sense such heavy anointing of the holy spirit even just right here in the altar right here i'm sensing that there is such a strong anointing ministering to people ministering to people something is entering you in the name of the lord jesus christ those who are getting born again as you are getting born again some of you are getting filled with the holy ghost instantly instantly because i see the power of god coming on some of you in the name of jesus say after me from today i'm a child of god the life of god is in me i will never be the same in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit may you become mighty men and women of the spirit in the name of jesus may god do great and mighty things in and through your life i really pray for you from the depth of my heart may you never go back to the systems of this world again may the holy spirit guide you may he instruct you and teach you in the name of jesus christ may you be established in righteousness in jesus name i pray may god bless you i'd like you to follow the lady waving her hands she will have your details and i promise that we'll send you a text and we'll follow you up may god bless you in jesus name follow the lady very quickly hallelujah god bless you please everyone stand everyone stand i want to speak over your life now and please i want you to pay attention those outside this is when everybody gets to receive something mighty upon their lives i believe in the power of prophecy i believe in its ability to change the course of your life please let's prepare the announcement quickly so that we can take it after we have seen in this house what God has done with prophecy. When Pastor Alpha came up here, he was admonishing us and he told us, he said, you don't just believe in the Lord, but you believe in the prophets that he has proved. This is not human worship. It's an election of grace. God sends men and anoints them with apostolic and, and prophetic mantles and graces because he wants to use the words through them to step into your life and destiny there will be radical change as i pre i prophesy over your life lift your hands inside and outside lift your hands the power of god is strong i already feel like fire on my hands i speak over your life a dimension of speed you have never seen a dimension of speed you have never seen receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside let a mantle come on you for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus I pray for you every spiritual blindness everything covering your eyes from accessing insight in the Word of God you need insight your life is at the mercy of the spiritual insight you have I'm praying for you like a veil torn from a man's eyes I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now. I speak against the spirit of limitation. That force from hell. It allows you to move forward, but it will say you will not cross this border. In the name that is above all names. I come under this anointing this night. And I command whatever limit you have seen in your life, I break it tonight. 
I break that limit tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every strange dream every spiritual encounter of the night that is not orchestrated from heaven every visitation of demons they appear as animals they appear as men as women they appear as all kinds of things seeing yourself in primary school wearing all kinds of things i don't care what it is in the name that is above all names i command judgment upon those spirits now i command judgment upon those spirits now every voice that calls you forth in your sleep and programs tragedy over your destiny the bible was not it didn't leave us in darkness as to what happens when men sleep i pray whatever calls you forth and your sleep and reprograms your destiny so that you wake up into tragedies by the blood of jesus i attack those enchanters i challenge their enchantment in the name of jesus christ I pray for you prosperity like you have never seen a dimension of wealth like you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus I pray upon you the same way favor can come on a man like a mantle you can carry it you can know you are carrying help that guy please see this will come on people seriously this ministry has enjoyed a level of inexplainable favor i'm praying for you from that which has come upon this ministry let it come upon your life right now i release that favor in the name of jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive that favor receive that favor hallelujah i pray for you and Jabez was more honorable. Listen, honor is not just age. Honor is a mantle. God can is a distinguishing anointing that sets you apart. And men not only recognize your difference, but they celebrate it. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, from today, an unction comes upon you. A strange grace that makes men to celebrate who you are and what you carry believe me when i say this i pray for you inside and outside from the depth of my spirit that mantle of honor that distinguishing anointing receive it in the name of jesus i pray for your families every project that has refused to be completed i don't care what it is the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it i'm praying for you whatever has experienced stagnancy in your family i supply spirit power and i command it to start moving forward in the name of jesus christ every uncompleted project hear the word of the lord tonight I command you to be completed in the name of Jesus. I've said it again and again that the next level of your life is a destiny help I way. Listen, listen. I have seen in my life and I have enjoyed the strange ministry of destiny helpers. Brothers and sisters, God does not need 20 people to change your life. One correct person can just step into your life there was a man who some friends insisted he must be healed they carried him and tossed somebody zinc and brought him to those are not friends they are destiny helpers my god in the name of jesus i don't know where they are who must appear in your life between now and february but in the name that is above all names i speak to the north i speak to the south I speak to the east. I speak to the west. 
destiny help us come forth now come forth now financial help us come forth now marital help us come forth now academic help us come forth now career help us come forth now if there are no human beings to occupy that position angels must appear in human bodies and perform that role I pray for you the Lord told us this year is a year of multiplied grace and influence I want you to go back and meditate on it you already see what is happening in the house the house has entered another dimension and everybody who cares has entered that dimension I pray for you I don't know what level of grace you have been functioning in but I pray listen to what I'm about to tell you in the name of Jesus whatever dimension of grace you have seen right now I stand under this apostolic anointing I multiply that grace upon your life I multiply that grace I multiply that healing power I multiply that deliverance power I multiply that grace for favor I multiply that teaching anointing I multiply your influence where you could not have gone by now I pray by the wings of the spirit may you be carried to strange dimensions of influence where your business has not gotten to where your certificate could not have entered in the name of Jesus I expand your spiritual borders and I compel influence in your life in the name of Jesus Christ when you open your mouth to call for help I force your words to enter the ears of an helper in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again koinonia that if you dare open your mouth to cry for help I declare may that word not die till it enters the ears of your helper I speak to the elements of creation I compel them to come in alignment with your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I use the earth as a point of contact every human being works on the earth I speak that anywhere the earth sees you let it compel favor for you some of you may not understand what I'm doing just believe me Job said for out of the earth comes bread I command the bread that is buried for your destiny in the earth I call it out in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know the desires of your heart but I'm praying that between now and the next miracle service that you will come and stand before the people of God and testify to the might of God everything that has brought tears out of your family I judge it right now every career person listen to me we are forcing promotion this year don't say it cannot happen you will fool yourself are you hearing what I'm saying look in the name that is above all names the mystery of lifting dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus I'll see you again bye